Extra Reports Suite features an end-user reports designer that incorporates the full functionality and features of the report designer we ship for the Visual Studio IDE. This standalone application enables your end users to easily open existing Extra Reports layout definition files and modify the reports that can be printed, exported, or further distributed. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can create an end user reports designer from scratch in a few short steps. So let's get started. Here I have the Demo Center open. I click on the Extra Reports link and then select Ribbon End User Designer Demo to launch the End User Designer application that's included with the Extra Reports installer. You can see that this is a standalone reports designer sporting the Ribbon layout. I click on Open and select an Extra Report layout file. This is a master detail report that is bound to a sample SQL Server database. Let's minimize this and switch to Visual Studio. Here I have a new WinForms application project. From the Solution Explorer, I right-click the project and invoke the Add New Item window. I select a DevExpress ribbon form and add it to my project. I'm using the DevExpress ribbon form to create an application that fully mimics the look and feel of a ribbon-based window. This is, of course, not a requirement for creating the report designer, and a standard window frame may also be utilized. From the toolbox, I expand the DevExpress reporting tab and drag and drop the XR Design Ribbon Controller component onto the form. This adds all the required namespace references and creates the appropriate items within the ribbon. All the items are also wired to the appropriate event handlers and code, so you won't need to write any code to complete the functionality. Now I need to complete the application's layout by adding the required dockable panes. This is easily accomplished using the XR Design Dock Manager component. You can see the control automatically creates the required dock layout and populates them accordingly. The XR Design Panel component is what will be invoked to provide the report construction surface. Note that I'm not adding this to the form because it will be automatically initialized at runtime when creating a new report or loading an existing one. And that's it. I run the application to see the results. Here it is, the end user reports designer we just created. I'll load the same master detail report to load the report editing service. In addition to the standard buttons and functionality, you may modify the UI to exclude some functions or add your own through code. Clicking the print preview tab will generate a preview of what the report will look like when rendered. Now let's apply theming to this application. Return to Visual Studio. From the toolbox, I expand the DevExpress Components group and drag and drop a default look and feel component onto the form. Using this control, I can specify a skin that will be applied to all the controls in this application. So for this example, I'll select it and set the skin name property to Office 2010 Black. The design time view is immediately updated. When I run the application, you can see the visual style applied to all the DevExpress controls in the window. To learn more about the End User Reports Designer, please visit the online documentation for extra reports. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.